<laughs> okay. So this is the car. There's a camera on top. Yeah. Now turn on the transmitter. Okay. It's on, okay? Does it work? Yeah, it works. So I'm going to put the car down, and then you're going to drive the car. Do you know where the wheels are? Okay, put your feet on the on the gas. Whoa! Okay, slow down, slow down. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. This is first person driving with the natural steering wheel. I hacked it together with two Arduinos and an old video game controller. The effect is something like a kart racing game in real life, except that you're only five inches tall. The controls are intuitive and the experience is immersive in a way that a conventional RC controller just can't compare with. Here's how it all works. There are two main parts to this rig. There's the car and its dash cam, and then there's a steering wheel and its virtual windshield. These parts communicate with each other over two wireless conversations. The first conversation is a set of instructions from the wheel to the car. It tells the car how fast to go and in what direction. The second conversation provides the visual feedback from the car's dash cam to the monitor. This keeps your relative orientation locked to the cars. For the steering wheel, I'm using an old PS2 game controller I bought back in 2001. You can find it on eBay for about 20 bucks. You can use any old PS2 wheel controller, but I like this one because it has a shifter and a set of foot pedals. This wheel interfaces with an Arduino Uno through a PS2 shield. I'm listening for the wheel's rotation values, the gas pedal's pressure sensitivity, the shifter's last state, and the X button to turn the car's headlights on and off. The car has an Arduino Micro on board. Both Arduinos talk to each other using a pair of Nordic NRF 24L01s. These are really inexpensive radio circuits that operate on the 2.4 GHz spectrum. By the way, they're fast. These tend to operate at an imperceivable latency of 12 milliseconds. On the visual side of things, I'm using a mini FPV camera with a built-in transmitter. It sends analog video over the 5.8 GHz spectrum. I chose an inexpensive pair of goggles that can detach to be a standalone monitor, but any goggle will do. So there you have it. With a little bit of soldering and a little bit of coating, you too can make your very own first-person RC car. If you do, send me a message and show me what you've done. I could really use someone to race. My name is Paul Yan, and I had a blast making this project. I hope you enjoyed it too. First time miniature driving. Yeah, yeah I want to bring these cones together. Okay. <laughs> oh. Whoa. As you said. <laughs> Hold on, we'll turn you around. Yeah, what's okay. happening? <laughs> <laughs> so put, put that you're in forward.